morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Saturday and welcome back to Prophetic Diary. My name is Tyneek. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button and get in the flow here at Prophetic Diary. You will not be disappointed. What the Lord is doing for us here at Prophetic Diary in this month of October, I just cannot put words to it. He said in Amos 9 that it will happen so fast that there'll be blessings all around us, but it's the revelations, the revelations that God has been giving us here at Prophetic Diary. I mean, they're blowing our minds. This is the month of restoration. This is the month of redemption. This is the month where God is establishing us to occupy our land here, Prophetic Diary. Can I get an amen? God is establishing his people and God wants you to know that you're not crazy, that it was not all just in vain and you've been standing and believing and praying. No, God says, this is the month that they're going to see you. This is the month that they're going to know. This is the month that they're going to choose you. The Lord took me to Amos nine again family but this is going to be amos 9 11 and it reads in that day i will restore david's fallen shelter i will repair its broken walls and restore its ruins and will rebuild it as it used to be so that they may possess the remnant of odom and all nations that bear my name declares the lord who will do these things God says that, and we're going to talk about this in depth in the winter circle. So I hope that you all uh, join me there today. But it says, he says, I will restore its ruins and we rebuild it to how it used to be. And God is saying how it used to be. There was a love. There was a relationship that was destroyed just like David. David had, uh, God had made David a promise that forever and ever and ever that his, his kingdom uh, would reign for ever. And as we see the children of Israel um, fell under judgment, but God is like, no worries. I'm going to rebuild it. And God is saying, I'm going to rebuild that broken relationship that you have. Cause I made you a promise just like I made David this promise. I made you a promise, but I have to rebuild it. I have to repair it and I have to restore it. Do you need anything rebuilt today? Do you need anything restored? Are you looking at something right now? And you're like, God, I know you can't restore this. Well, guess what? God promised us to aim this, that he can redeem and he can restore and he's going to he said and i'm going to rebuild it to how it used to be the love that i promised you the love that's gone so far away from you because you've gotten so hurt so many times uh, uh a security a comfort that you're like i don't i've never felt comfort i never felt security god says i'm restoring that to you through your marriage through you and god's relationship god is saying when you see me rebuilding this thing when you see me bring this relationship back together when you see me redeem you you're gonna know that it was me your God, the Lord has given me so many notes on this. Um, like I said, I don't have time to share it all here in this video, but God did give me this definition of used to or use. It's a past tense. It used to be a particular place to utilize, to make sense of. I'm going to, you're going to utilize that relationship again. We're going to manage and ha handle that relationship again, like it used to be, the Lord says today. And he says, um, all the nations that bear my name, he says, all the nations, he says, all the nations, because I made a promise to you and I made a promise to David and I'm going to bring this forth and I'm going to rebuild that thing and I'm going to restore that thing how it used to be. It'll be like it never happened when God restores this communication between you and your spouse. It'll be like it never happened like you haven't been single. It'll be like it never happened that you were sick and broke, busted and disgusted. It'll be like it never happened because God's going to rebuild it like it used to be. If you feel led to so and so word, hashtag like it used to be. Okay, God is doing some mighty things. Remember, Psalms 110 is over this house in this season of our life. Hopefully, I'll see you guys on the winter circle. Grab your PD praying oil. Get your prophetic diary, keywinassist.com. I will see you guys soon. Love you. Stay encouraged.